Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, I thought maybe you were getting lit, because that's really nice, too. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the sweep of the tree with the, the lines coming down. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, even, my gosh. Yeah. And it's turn like it... Drainage. Even the drainage, yeah. It, but if you... I did something with my cell phone and turned it black and white, and it really looked cool, so I'm going to try it with my big camera. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, folks. Um, wow. We're on an adventure, but a different of an adventure. We are photographing a tree at uh, Edmonds Community College. Now, it's on my favorite wall. I've photographed trees along this wall before or along this building because they planted vine maples here and they can be really pretty. And the, actually, the tree that I'm photographing tonight is a tree I photographed a couple of years ago at the beginning of COVID. And it had this branch and leaves are starting to come out and I just, it was a image and video about uplift and how we could strive to make things better and we were going to come out of this pandemic. And we are, we actually are. However, this poor tree, the limb that I photographed is cut off. And I was, as I was walking by on my Sunday morning walk, I noticed that the limb was cut off recently and but it still looked oh so pretty what i'm seeing with this is you know the sweet the branch i'd photographed earlier came out this way but now we've got this beautiful sweep of this tree going this way what really got me excited about this was when i'm in urban settings i'm looking at nature i'm looking at juxtapositions between nature and man-made things and here we have these, these straight lines coming down. And yeah, one of them's a drainage. But we have these straight lines coming straight down. And then this beautiful sweep of a tree. So that's what I'm going to photograph tonight. So let's get back to the camera. And I'll talk through my settings and get the image. And uh, go work on it and show it to you later. Hang on. <laughs> Using my old reliable workhorse. Her name is Minnie. And she is doing this vertically because I'm going to need to do a panorama on this. Primarily because I don't have the right lens on it. I'm going to have to do about a two image, if not a three image panorama to get it fully. Because like I said, I used the wrong lens. I've got my 28 to 300 on and I shot, should have brought the wide angle lens. But doing a panel will be quite helpful actually because I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. I will be able to get everything in, have enough space around the tree to correct for any parallax distortions. Well, I don't think I'll have any with this since I'm going panorama. So I'm going to be starting hit this way and just going to go one, two, three very easily with my images. Uh, it's, like I said, it's on you know, vertical uh, or portrait mode. I am at f8. I'm far enough away where I don't, really don't need to get a deep depth of field. And, um, and it should be able to get everything that's in front and back in, in perfect focus for me. Um, I don't have to worry too much about slow shutter speed because I am at uh, 0.8 seconds. <laughs> and, uh, but that's okay because it's, you know, it's getting dark and I actually got a little bit of light coming down on the tree, which is kind of cool. And I'm at ISO 100, which is the better ISO on this camera. Not that I really ever worry too much about it. So I'm going to take one image in each, each location. And remember when we're doing panoramas, we take an image. And oops, did I get it on two second timer? Wait a minute, I need to get it on two second timer. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, two second timer, we're going to have take one image and then when I move the camera, I'm only going to move it so it pretty much overlaps and I think I might be able to get away with just two images here. Because one image and two images um, seems to be able to get most of the tree in the frame. And if I have to make any corrections, I don't even think I'm going to need to make any corrections, really. But my whole idea, I mean, it's, is to make this black and white 
and have those lines that are coming down, just that straight lines and having the contrast of the curving tree. And I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous and I will show that to you right now. I want to thank you again for coming along on this little adventure of photographing just this one tree against this wall and I think it really turned out wonderfully and I uh, hope you enjoyed it too. If you want more videos like this let me know in the comments. I kind of lately have been doing more adventure videos where I'm out backpacking or hiking but I do really enjoy doing these little one-off images or doing tutorials and if that's something you're interested in I'd love to help you out with getting more on my channel that way and if you did enjoy this make sure you give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you on the next adventure bye